Hello everyone. Here we are again getting close to the end of the year <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to uh, access printing the uh, contribution statements for your members. Uh, we're going to look at running the whole series of uh, statements all together and I'm also going to show you how to run one individual statement by itself. Okay, so first and foremost uh, we are logged into the system and we will click on contribution. From contribution we will click on reports. Under reports um, you should have one report in there that's called contribution statement five funds. All locations should have this uh, established already. If you do not, please let us know. It is just a matter of us going in there and activating that report for you. Uh, once you do have it, you will be uh, clicking on it. It will open up another window here. And we're going to go ahead and click it open so it will be a full page. Uh, you will put in the date. You will let the system uh, put the date on there. So we need to go back to the beginning of the year. For some reason or another, entering the date on your own, the, the system just doesn't recognize it. So that's why we're letting the system uh, choose it for you. So that is your from date, beginning January 1st, 2017. And here we're going to select uh, the end of the year, even though uh, it's still not that date yet, but just uh, for sample purposes. Um, nothing else is selected. Uh, there, We're not uh, picking up any categories. We're not uh, uh, selecting any funds. We're getting everything in general. Whatever the, the person gave to, that's what it's picking up. If you do want to uh, set an amount as to from a certain dollar amount and up will only print, you can do so by clicking here in the minimum gift area. But if not, as long as you put uh, anything that's over uh, from one cent and above, as you see here on the example, it will pick up those donors that gave from that minimum amount and up. So once you're ready, like I said, only a from date, end date, nothing else is selected. We'll go ahead and click on view report. It'll take a while depending on the size of your, <clears throat> of your database. Larger locations, of course, will take a little longer to process. Uh, the connection of your internet is also uh, something that may come into play. You might want to run this report either late in the afternoon or sometime very early in the morning when the, there's not too many people accessing the, the serve internet service so you can have full, full access to it. This location is not too large so it shouldn't take that long to bring back uh, a result of, of the statements. We'll give it a couple more seconds here. And in the meantime, you can grab yourself a cup of coffee, do a quick run to the restroom, whatever you feel like uh, taking a break maybe just to allow the system to process and load up the, the results of your search. And like I said, uh, this one didn't seem like it was going to take uh, quite a bit, but uh, it, did, it did run. If I do a, 
end search here. Let me see how many pages it shows me. <clears throat> uh, this total uh, run that I did, it shows me a total of 583. If you see the screen, 583 reports. Uh, like I said, it's not a, a high amount. It is kind of large for uh, location, but uh, anything uh, that uh, any result that you'll get, you'll see here on the screen. Um, we're going to go ahead and save this. Uh, you can't print directly from here. The best thing, and for, for me, the best thing for you to do, so like that you can uh, have it with you at all times and don't have to run it again, is to go ahead and uh, export it. You click here on the little uh, icon that looks like a little disk and save it as a PDF. So it'll go ahead and do the conversion of the file into a PDF format for you. It seems like it's done, but it's uh, got to let me know. Let me see. Oh, here it is. I go ahead and click uh, open. And there it is. It opened uh, it for me as a uh, PDF file under the Adobe Acrobat Reader. So now here I can just go file, save as, and I'm going to go ahead and, and put it in my desktop just for saving purposes and here I can put uh, just contribution I'm going to shorten the word statements here and I'm going to put uh, 2017 as the as a year so I go go ahead and click save and I'm going to go ahead and close that. I'm going to go ahead and close this window, which takes me back to the uh, screen where I started off at. I'm going to minimize this. And just to show you, here it is. Let me move it over here to the right. And here's the resulted uh, report of all the contribution statements. So if I go in here, I can go scrolling through the reports. Let me, let me find one of just one person. Here's a. Uh, Mr. H. Robert Chapa, and here are his uh, donations for the year. It gives me the name of the parish on the top, uh, his name, the donations that he gave, and here in the bottom it gives a little disclosure uh, contributions for which taxable receipts are fully under the control of St. Joseph, the name of their church should appear there, and are tax deductible to the fully extent allowed by the law, any goods and services you may have received in connection with these contributions were solely intangible re religious beliefs. Uh, it goes on to say, thank you for your contributions and continued faithfulness and support of ministry. It gives you the date when this uh, report was run and how many pages. This one's one page as the next uh, uh, parishioner appears here. Now, if, you, if I uh, would open this up and I would need want to look for somebody in specific, I can go to edit, find, and when I put the, the last name of the person, I click next, and it should take me directly to that person. If there are several of them that have the same last name, it would just be a matter of uh, scrolling through that section to find the, the one you want. Once you find the one you want, since you have about 600, well, it turned out to be about 600 uh, pages of it, we don't, want it, we, don't, we don't want you to print everything all at the same time. What we can do is just uh, click File, Print, and since it's telling me that this is page 5 out of 605 right here, I can go ahead and tell it I only want to print that page 5 out of it. And you can see the result right here. It only shows me that one. So um, this would be a way to have everything uh, saved in one file and then go back into that file and extract the uh, contribution statements that you need from there. The other thing that I was going to show you is uh, running 
just one individual uh, report all by itself. Let me go ahead and close this, this screen. It'll take me back to where I started. But first, I'm going to go ahead and, and look for a, a person I, I know I want to do this uh, example on. Um, and we were looking at that person right now. So before anything, before running the, the one person statement per se, we need to go and look for the person because I need something from that person. So I'm going to take that example of uh, Mr. Chapa there. And I'm going to go, we'll go ahead and do a search. And here he is. So the thing that I need from him is here under the information of Mr. H. Robert Chapa, under the uh, profile information, I need the person slash I, uh, foreign ID, which is uh, this number right here, the 376. It'll be different for each individual that you have in your parishes. In this example, uh, his number is 376934. So what I can, can do is just highlight this number again so we'll be another bit. Okay. highlight it in blue right click on top of it select copy and then I can go back to contributions under reports do the five statement fund five funds I mean again we're gonna look for that date back uh, starting January 1st and here December 31st but here instead of just running everybody what I'm gonna do is here on the little last item see how it says person ID but it's grayed out but it has a a little checkbox with a word null next to it well we need to check out that checkbox and it'll open up the box here where you can either type in the number or since I, I copied it I can right click in it and then uh, click paste and there's the number that I that I brought in from from his profile now that I have this in line I can go ahead and click on view report and instead of running the whole series of uh, statements I'm only getting that one for that one person I, I, uh, I actually need okay. again we Click here to export it as a PDF file. Click open. And there it is in, in the PDF. All I have to do is uh, right, uh, click on file, click on save as. I'm throwing it uh, again in my desktop. And now I can put here uh, Chapa contribution statement for 2017. And I click save. I can close this down, I can close this down, close this window down, it takes me back to the to the Shelby area where I started with the reports. I'm going to minimize this, and again, here is the, and we'll go over to the right, here's the statement, I can open it, and it's just one page for this person, Chapa, and here is the statement again, the same one as I did before with the, with the rest of the other ones. Uh, but again, it's only for one individual. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, like I said, uh, that uh, contribution five funds report should be in that area under contribution under reports. Uh, if it is not, please let us know. It's just a matter again of us going in there, installing that report, so you can have access to it. And you can run your your reports once you post your last. Uh, contribution. Uh, December does have uh, 31 days. 31 falls on the last Sunday of, of the month. So uh, as long as once you put their, your last contributions in through December 31st, then you should be ready to print out your statements or ac access them, saving them as a PDF and having them there for, for future reference for, uh, for your use. Um, thank you for your time. Any other questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. And I hope this is helpful to you. Uh,
please send me any, any info uh, as to other things that you would like for me to go over, present to you in this format, so like that you can have access to it at any, t any time, anywhere that you're at. Uh, God bless you all and have a good afternoon.